Want the reward? Do the damn work. Challenge yourself. Inspire change. Choice, not luck. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Todd Crandall from Ignite Euphoria, and I'm here with one Jameson from True Rest Float Spa. How you doing today, buddy? Doing well. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I uh, Were you hiding in my bushes watching me get dressed today? Because I noticed you have the same color pants on as I Look, do. we weren't supposed to talk about that well, right now. Well, okay. We won't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm great, glad... great minds think alike, you know? <laughs> right? I'm glad you're on. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. I w- tell me first... Where, where's the vision and where's the, the, the mindset and why did you start uh, True Rest? Yeah, so um, a while back, a buddy of mine I went to high school with, we uh, both were looking for something to get invested in, um, a business of some sort. So he uh, is a ER physician. My background is occupational therapy. Um, so we stumbled across uh, True Rest Float Spa actually through my sister-in-law who was a massage therapist out in Arizona, um, and she had introduced us to float therapy. We had no idea what float float therapy was, um, and we started doing some research, looked into it. Uh, We actually flew out to Arizona, met with uh, the CEO and and all the, uh, some of the franchisees, people that were involved, and got back on the plane and said, this is something we can do. This is something we can stand behind with our medical background. We, we went to school to help people, and uh, with float therapy, we still are able to accomplish that, that task, and it's new, upcoming. Now, it's been around for a while, so it's not new, but new in the sense of people just are unaware of what it is. Uh, still, there's so much education to be, to be done. So by having an open mind, you even put yourself in a situation where you could learn about floating and everything it brought right absolutely i think uh, you should always have an open mind um for anything in, in life really uh but yeah we we were open-minded to it not knowing what it was or what we were getting ourselves into and you know just had a, a thought of what the potential could be for for flow therapy and we wanted to bring it to north northwest ohio what were you doing previously to that uh so like i said my background was occupational therapy um i was working at a skilled nursing facility i loved my job um and i I had a great team i was working at a great place and then uh we stumbled across uh, float therapy and then it was time my business partner made more money than i did so i had to quit my job um and come on over but like i said i still get that satisfaction that gratification of helping people on various degrees was there any fear in starting this new adventure, or was there excitement? Maybe both? both. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, fear of the unknown, but once you can come back to the keeping that open mindset of the possibilities, um, I, the unknown is, I think everybody gets nervous or, or has a little bit of fear from that. Um, but excitement of the potential possibilities and bringing flotation therapy to the people, um, being able to get back to helping people uh with without all the um, drugs or you know prescriptions that are are being um, pushed out so quickly there's other alternatives and, and i wanted that that was a big thing for me is to just get people to see that there's there are other ways um or in combination you know try to uh, uh help them as much as we can with with anything they might be going through physically or mentally that whole natural way of doing things is it's, it's the way to go. It, it definitely is. And I think we're, as a society, we are now open-minded to, to uh, try those things. Whereas uh, 10 years ago, maybe we weren't ready for that, you know. Um, so I think we're at a great time as far as that goes. Um, and we'll, we're, we're new. We're, we're, uh, there's a lot of potential to come. So we shall see. So talk about the, the therapeutic benefits of it. What, you know, somebody comes in, you know, a lot of people are in Toledo. They, yeah. I've been promoting it through, you know, social media. We appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> but it, like when people are starting to ask me about it and I'm always directing them your way. So tell people, what are the therapeutic benefits of coming into True Rest? Yeah. Do you have an hour I can sit here and talk about? It? <laughs> we'll take as long as you want. No, in a nutshell. Um, so the, th- there's physical and mental benefits. Um, 
the the physical benefits are going to be just general relaxation, uh, quicker athletic recovery. It detox you, pulls some of that lactic acid out of your muscles. Um, pain management. You're, there's so much salt in those pods that you're effortlessly going to float on the surface, completely eliminating gravity, allowing all your muscles, joints, ligaments, everything to truly relax and become independent um, in the pod. And then uh, better sleep. Magnesium helps with our sleeping. So uh, you'll absorb some of that magnesium uh, while you're in the pods, and you'll sleep really good the follow that night and a couple nights after and it kind of dissipates off you know if we don't replenish that that magnesium we're deficient as americans we just don't eat the right foods um and then the, there's a whole uh mental standpoint as i mentioned so proven to help with post-traumatic stress depression anxiety addictions um it, the the benefits are are i want to say endless it really in in on a base level it's just warm salt water you know so the water is kept at a, a 93.5 so it's skin temperature the whole goal is to have no sensory input, and by allowing the body to experience that, you're um, getting rid of all external distractions and allowing your subconscious to kind of process. So I hear you talking mind, body, and spirit, which mm -hmm. is something I am definitely into. So let's go into each of those a little bit further. So physically, you talked about you know sore muscles and, and so forth. So the people that are out there, whether they're full-time athletes, weekend warriors, whatever, Get more specific on what it does on a, on a therapeutic level physically for people who are into fitness. Yeah, so the, I mean, I have high school kids that come, um, it's athletes, uh, and Tom Brady owns one, one of our pods. So there's a lot of high profile athletes and celebrities that, that use it. Um, what it's gonna do is you're, it's gonna increase the speed of your recovery of your muscles. So by getting in there and truly relaxing, it's gonna increase your blood flow, so increase your recovery, like I said, It'll detox you, pull that lactic acid out of your muscles. Um, the lactic acid is what causes a soreness uh, after you've completed a workout. So it's going to help speed that up, and then in turn you're able to go back and, if, if you will, beat your body up again, you know, and, and uh, go through all those tough regimens on various levels uh, of the practice and training that, that requires to be, you know, the, the athlete that they, these people are. Okay, so... Let's do, which one do I want to do next? Talk about, you mentioned PTSD and addiction, mm -hmm. kind of involved in a little bit of that. Talk about what it's helping people to overcome with both PTSD and then addiction stuff. Yeah, so I would say that it's not, it's not going to, it's not a cure-all. We don't claim it to be a cure-all by any means. Uh, it's more of it's a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's allowing uh, you know somebody to go in who may be experiencing some PTSD uh, um, or you know recovering, which you know I can't personally put myself in those situations. Uh, I've been fortunate where I haven't suffered from um, some of those those battles, but that you're you're allowing your subconscious to kind of kick in, get to a form of meditation. And, and a coping mechanism. Um, it, that's really the most I can go into personally on it. Um, there's, there's, we keep journals at our facility that people share their experiences, which I love because it holds more weight than just come from me. And it's their experiences that you know I can't really touch on. Um, but I love those people go through those all the time, and and you see people, the Marines, ex-Marines, or um, servicemen, you know, that has done, you know four-year service terms to, you know, 20 or even more. Um, veterans float free on the 11th of every month over at True Rest. Uh, so if you're out there and want to come try it out, feel free. Um, just uh, give us a call. But, yeah, the, the, it's, it's, I would say, more of a coping mechanism. You know, we were talking earlier about having that open-minded, you know, mindset, if mm -hmm. you will. And as a, as a licensed drug and alcohol counselor, you know, I'm, I've always looked at recovery. It's not just about not doing drugs. Mm -hmm. It's really half of it is understanding why we were doing the drugs in the first place. Right. And a lot of people are coming from traumatic backgrounds, whether it's in the, the military or an abusive childhood or whatever. So, right. you know, when you can take a concept like this and then, again, having that open minded ability and you can apply it it brings more of an awareness to what real recovery is about because anybody can just stop using drugs you can get prescribed a bunch of medications right. to cope with this stuff but you're not solving the problem you haven't hit the surface the surface right. issues and yeah. you're not really 
living the benefits of what it means to cope with this stuff effectively, you know? So that's another thing that I found even by doing a couple of floats, I'm like, okay, this is connecting the mind, body, and spirit together. Right, right. Uh, I, I would totally agree with that. Um, you know, you're, you're, as you should know, and you do know, um, you could stop doing drugs at any point in time, or not any point, but you could stop that, you know? Yeah. Um, but you do need to get down to the main cause of why, why did this start? Um, what's going on uh, in, in what traumatic experience have I had? Um, and I think accepting the reality, looking internally into yourself um, and just doing that meditation itself kind of allows you to have that open mindset to say, okay, and look at it, look at it and look at what, what the root cause was. And I think that's the beginning of, of recovery. So let's talk about, the, you mentioned sleep, and let's talk about the emotional benefits that people are getting from this as well. What have you, what's been your experience with having clients come in and check out your awesome place? What are they talking about with that? So I, sleeping, so you, like I said, you absorb some of that, that magnesium. Um, you're, you're, you go home that night, you will sleep amazing. Uh, a couple nights after, like I said, you, it'll, you'll still sleep good, but it dissipates off. And that's when you get to come back and see me again. Uh, so we can help replenish that magnesium again. Um, as far as, uh, uh, what was your next one? No, we did sleep and the like emotional Sorry. benefits. Emotional. From it. Yeah. So that can vary on a wide range. Uh, I've had people that have gone in and you had visions uh, of you know what they believe to be family members that have passed um, and come out and that can be a hard thing to deal with especially if you've kind of blocked it blocked it out or not dealt with um, that that emotional standpoint of things um, I, I think they could come out and had visions of themselves you know with their parents it, it can vary so drastically uh, depending on the individual uh, but that i've had people come out crying i'm like what's going on and it, you know they tell me their story and it's just it really has opened their eyes and some people who are not open-minded to you know spirituality and and things of that nature um come out and they say okay that was different i don't know how to explain it um, you know, but just very, very touched um, to themselves and their experience in general was uh, very unique and, and uh, emotional for them. Again, we keep coming back this theme of being open minded. These are the benefits of being open minded where mm -hmm. you can go in and experience some of these things. I, I probably shouldn't say it this way, but it's like a, it's a free, healthy buzz. Right. You know, right. and it's a not only a free healthy buzz it's a therapeutic free healthy buzz right and that that's the stuff as a you know for me as an individual i'm a seeker i i want to explore new things on a natural level that can give me you know education or experiences that i didn't have before that's part of what you know i'm doing as a counselor and with racing for recovery is having people push those limits and explore them right you know? i think sometimes to look at within yourself is one of the hardest things to do yep. Uh, this like gives you that opportunity and allows you to to step back and and slow down in our, our fast paced life and just really in, look internally and, and see what's going on, you know, whatever that might mean to that person. So so you, you've talked a lot about what it's doing for or what it can do for people and what it's done for other people. What's it done for you? <laughs> Running a business can be stressful. <laughs> no kidding. Um, prior to true rest you know, we had uh, no prior business experience so there's been a, a lot of learning um when we first opened up we were extremely fortunate uh, we were doing almost 1400 floats a month over at our perrysburg location uh which is not something corporate prepared you for um because it was were just numbers that hadn't been hit so the stress level that comes with all that um, I try to float at least twice a month. I, if I can get in more, I'd like to. Um, it just kind of it, it it's difficulty f difficult for me, but at the same time, that's when I need it. You know, is when you are so stressed and you say, "Oh, I don't have time. I can't do it." You need it at that point. Um, so you, sometimes I have to force myself in, um, but I, I try to get in at least twice a month. It, it does help me just step back, and slow down. Uh, we're in such a fast paced world, and it's a go 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 all the time this allows me to get in the pod and just shut everything out for an hour uh, it doesn't always feel like an hour because it goes so fast but uh you know i think everybody needs that you know parents business owners you know whatever anybody that's going through things and especially right now the stress with the pandemic that we're experiencing by doing so has it made you 
or tell me how it's made you an, a better person, a better businessman, a better father. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we all, we've all experienced stress on some level, um, uh, allowing me to step back and relax and just, you know, put things in perspective. Why, why am I so, why do I do this business? Why am I so stressed out? Well, I do it to be a better, a better person, a better father, a better friend. Um, and I, I believe by doing that, it, it allows me to just kind of realign or reorder things. And, and uh, there's a, realize there's a bigger picture. And, and then you get in touch with your spir- spirituality or, or your meditation or what, and whatever your experience might be. Um, but it allows you to just step back and slow down and recover. I sleep a lot better that night. You know, sleep is very important. Uh, when I don't get enough sleep, I can be testy, <laughs> you know. Um, so therefore, I'm not I'm not lashing out at a staff or, a, a, you know, a wife or kids or, you know, it allows you just to be like, step back and realize I need to take a breather, if you will. Talk about why, okay, we've talked about the, the therapeutic benefits and all these awesome things that you guys are doing over there. What are some of the myths that you can dispel. So you may have somebody right now that's watching and going, really floating in salt water like that. What are some of the things that people may have objections to that you can discuss now that can eliminate that before they even come in the door? We talked a little bit uh, prior to to coming in here was the the size of the pot and claustroph- being claustrophobic. Uh, we get that a lot. Um, and I want to re- assure people it's much bigger than what you initially think. Uh, it's not like an MRI or a tanning bed where you're super closed in. The, the pot itself is seven and a half feet long, five and a half feet wide, and four and a half feet tall. I literally can stand, o- stand up and it bent over. Um, and that's how we clean it, <laughs> you know, is getting in there. So it's a, the, the, we have the lid, you can li- leave the lid open if you choose, um, or you could crack it, put a towel in there. So th- if that helps alleviate any kind of anxiety that one might be experiencing. The once most people get in there, they don't think they could close the lid um, or they're going to feel that have that claustrophobic feeling. Uh, they actually can. And I encourage people to, to challenge themselves. Um, and some people, it's a stepping process. You know, they can't do it right away. Uh, first couple floats might pod lid might be open and then they might, you know, OK, I'm ready to take the next step. You know, put a towel in there, uh, whatever, whatever you're able to do to try to challenge yourself and, and get that full experience. Um, I encourage you to do so. Uh, I think just going in open-minded in general. Um, when I didn't know what float therapy was when we first opened. I knew what meditation was, and I didn't care what it was. It, that was just my thought. It was whatever. I've I've completely changed my t- my tone on that. Like I said, I float at least twice a month. Um, so come in just an open-minded concept and just try it. You know, you, you know everyone's experience is a little bit different you know, and how their body takes to it physically is a little bit different, but we were doing 1400 floats a month, like I said, and, um, and not many less than five, I say maybe, you know, come out and didn't enjoy it, you know, for whatever reason, most people, if it's, they have respect for it, um, afterwards, if they, it's not something that's their cup of tea, they say, Hey, I can see the benefits of this. Just not for me. And that's very few as well. You know, uh, I've done, there is a sales portion to the, uh, you know, floating, getting people to come back in. I've done car sales, gym membership sales. Um, this is the easiest thing for me because I believe in it. Um, I truly do. I see the benefits. I've had people literally cry on my shoulder for pain management, um, fibromyalgia. It, it, you know, I have children that come in and experience it. Um, autistic children can benefit from float therapy. Uh, the the umbrella of benefits and who it benefits is unbelievable, especially when you're looking at it. It's just warm salt water, but be open minded. Come and try it, um, and, and I think you're, you'll see for yourself. We talk about gratitude a lot. You know, when I'm seeing, uh, I don't like calling people clients, when I'm seeing people that need help, and mm-hmm. it's one of the big things that Racing for Recovery talks about is being grateful. Uh, describe how grateful you are that you had an open mind a open-minded concept to even try this like can you imagine not having that and where you'd be no I, i'd be stuck in one place um and i would not have the pleasure of meeting all the people that come through our doors and hearing their stories 
um, why they why they decided to try it, what they're looking to get out of it, um, and and what they have gotten out of it. It's I'm extremely grateful to be in a position that I'm in to be where we are as a as a company and personally. You know, I I get to sit and have these conversations one on one with these people, um, and it, it makes you realize that everybody's going through something physically, mentally, spiritually, and you know, some days when you're having a rough day, uh, after talking to some other people, you know, it, it, we all have rough days. Um, and, but I'm extremely grateful for, for all the people that walk through our doors in general. Um, but it never would have happened if I didn't have an open mind and, and didn't allow us, you know, take that chance of, of bringing the floating to Northwest Ohio. Um, it's just been an all around amazing experience. It's been, we've been open three and a half years at our Perrysburg location and you know, it, it doesn't feel like it. It's gone really, really fast. I've met a lot, a lot of people, um, you know, and, and they just continue growing the brand, growing floating. Um, it, we're doing so well because of everyone else referrals. I mean, I pride myself on trying to provide a good experience, a nice clean environment, um, and alleviate any concerns or questions, anxiety somebody might have. Um, but without the customers, without our clients, you know, we're nowhere. So uh, I'm great, very grateful for everybody that has comes in and tries it. You know, you mentioned earlier, you know, you were a car salesman, you sold health club memberships, mm -hmm. and, and this to you feels like not even selling. It's not. Right? So the question I have for you is, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I want to help people, right? Mm -hmm. and, okay, that's good. What does it feel like? And maybe give some examples of how you've been truly able to experience being of service to other people where... You're not just selling them a car, which isn't a bad thing, but you really feel good about self watching someone else benefit from what you guys are doing. I mean, so on the 11th of every month, Veterans Float Free, um, you know, my goal, I, a lot of vets that may have uh, had PTSD or, or, you know, gone through traumatic physical and uh, uh, mental um, experiences, they all float free on the 11th, and that's simply just to give back um, because I do believe in our services. I do want to help people, it, and the research is there. It's proven to help people. Um, and so the it, it's uh, – I'm losing where I'm going. <laughs> it, it's just – it's an awesome experience uh, to be able to give back and not – it's not all about, you know, a sales yep. uh, thing. That comes with it, but it, it's – that's all set up to be um, cost effective and easy for you to come back. You know, the the goal is to ultimately help you on whatever you're going through and, and get you to come in um, and just try it. I don't know if that answers your question. It did <laughs> perfectly. So I want to talk about what. How did we even get connected? I mean, why did you come yeah. to me and what, talk a bit, little bit about one of that. your staff members um, came in and did a float. And then we were sitting down and talking. I like to talk to everybody after their experience um, in the Oasis room and just find out about the person when, and what brought them in. And uh, Jen had been with us for quite a while, I think possibly since we've opened. Um, don't quote me on that, but she's been around a long time. And she says, hey, you know, you, you need to talk to Todd you know, from Racing for Recovery. I'm like, I, I know of Todd. I've seen Todd running around my neighborhood. <laughs> um, and and I, I know of Racing for Recovery. And so she, uh, I think that's how it originally started off is she had dropped your name. I said, I'm all for it. You know, I, I love it. I love what, what you guys do. Um, yeah, I support it and anything that we can do to help you, uh, let us know, you know, and anybody that's involved with racing for recovery, I would encourage you if, if floating can come help you, which I believe it can come on in, Let, let's sit down, let's talk and let's, let's get you floating and, and just, uh, take it one step at a time, see where it goes from there. Well, it's interesting. And again, again we're, this theme is uh, this open-minded concept, right? I, I used to do all of the social media on racing for recovery. and That's I, a lot. It, it, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, running a business, it's like you'll do whatever it takes to get her going, right? Absolutely. And my daughter said to me, she goes, Dad, you know, maybe you ought to think of hiring somebody to do this for you. And I wasn't quite sure if she was saying, Dad, you stink at this. You right. need somebody or it's too much. I still haven't figured that out yet. But so we brought Jen in to do the social media aspect of it, which she's she's phenomenal with doing it, and her being a former veteran and everything. Mm -hmm. She came in to me and she said, "Hey, you know, I 
I got, I want you to go over and check out this true rest thing and float spot. And initially my mind was, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit still for an hour. I, I haven't done that in 54 right. years, Yeah, you know, you're, but you're I, busy guy. I heard her talk about the benefits of it. And I'm like, well, physically I get beat up from everything I do. Emotionally, I want to feel better. I'd love to sleep better. And if, Hey, it can help me calm down a little bit. I want, I want to see what that's like. Right. And I've done it three times. And I love it. And I'm, I'm very thankful that you've offered me the opportunity to come in there and do that because it's proven again that by having an open mind and actually doing it, I've reaped the benefits of it. And I've, I noticed when I, after I go in there and do one, I'll post about you guys. And I had mm -hmm. someone message me privately and they said, all right, Todd, seriously, is this stuff any good? And I'm like, it is. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it is. Cause it, well, and I, I don't ever expect somebody to promote something uh, if they don't stand by it. You know, if you don't believe it, if you don't don't see the benefits like that we we're talking about, fair enough. You came tried it, and and that's all I can ask. Um, but I'm confident enough that after you do your float, you're gonna be back. And you're gonna they're gonna get better, and you're just naturally gonna promote it because you're excited because it's something new and you're seeing the benefits of it. Well, and you you had said to me, it takes f at least four. Do it, four. It does. It, they're just because there's some variables in there. You know, we have lighting options. We have different music options. Um, you're trying to find what position works for you, uh, why I'm on this egg looking pod thing, you know, just trying to process it all. Uh, typically by the, you know, third, fourth, fifth float, you have all those variables kind of figured out of what works for you. Uh, and, and you know what to expect. So any anxiety that you may have previously had to come in, you know, you know what to expect now and, and you can just kind of relax a little bit more. Um, so by that, by that third, fourth flow, you typically got that, have that figured out and it, they just get better and better. I mean, you've had good experiences so far, but you're just hitting the tip of the iceberg as well. Um, you know, the people have, that have been coming in for a year or, or even longer, you know, they say each flow is a little bit different and it's like, Hey, I've never had that experience before. I've, I've read in, in her stories of, um, people seeing images and, and shapes and colors. I never had that. I did once and I've had a lot of floats under my belt, you know, and it, for whatever reason I saw it and I'm like, that's what they're talking about, you know? So it, it can vary on, on your magic float, if you will, um, of what number that's going to be. But typically the three, three or four floats, you have it figured out to, to start really digging in and, and experiencing what it's all about. It's, it's interesting because I'm looking at the, you said four, I've done three. The first one, I was just, thankful I made it. Mm -hmm. I got out of it like, oh my God, I went the full hour. I did not think I was going to be able to do that. But I've noticed like you get into these, dare I say euphoric, right. you know, because that's the title of our podcast, you know, but it's like, I get these little glimmers of it. And then I notice when I come back out of it, I'm like, oh, I, w I was just there. How do I get back in yeah. there? You and know, it can I, be a practice. Too. Yeah, it, it is because you'll get to that mental state. And, you know, if you come out, it's hard to get it can be hard to get back there um it gets easier the more you do it and, and then it gets easier as far as just staying in that that not coming out um you, you know inside sometimes it'll be oh my body you know jerked a second you know which is a natural reaction um that happens it doesn't happen all the time but the first couple floats you might experience that and it'll kind of bring you to like oh was i was i out was i asleep because you don't get to true REM sleep, you get to what's called theta state. Um, so there's there's stages of sleeping. Theta is right above REM. And so when you get there, you don't necessarily know you're there until you come out of it. And you're like, was I awake or was I asleep? It, it's, it's like thoughts are in the background, if that makes sense, which is your subconscious kind of processing. So I've asked you a, a ton of questions. And every time I do these, I give somebody an, you know, an opportunity. Do, is there anything you want to ask? me about because we we know each other but we, we're just learning yeah. more about each other do you have any questions for for me so with your your flows obviously you're a very active uh person uh the running have you i don't know if you necessarily get that soreness in the muscles um like you may when you're first starting off an exercise or whatnot um if you do do you have you noticed anything as far as your recovery uh with your floats you know again this whole open-minded stuff i Yes. To answer the question very directly, it's yes, I have felt better. I've been taking Sundays off as a rest day and coming in and doing my, my float on Sundays. And I find that I'm relaxed doing that. 
I'm more immediately more energetic to get back at it physically the next day. So I found my my runs on Monday morning have been fantastic following a, a relaxing day and then a float on Sundays. Uh, the the emotional and the mental benefits of it, I'm I'm pretty energetic generally, mm -hmm. but it's come with more energy, but a calmness along with it, which that's something that's new. Right. Normally I'm used to just feeling fired up to go but it's bringing a sense of uh inner peace and calmness as i'm energetic which is a that's a different kind of mindset right so it's helping therapeutically physically and emotionally and again that that's not what i was expecting from it but it's doing what you said it went on a physical level you yeah, know because I, I didn't you know i'm 54 and I've tried, I'm doing a lot of things holistically. I've tried yoga. I've been doing yoga for the past couple of years. I've changed to a, a vegan diet for the past four years, which has done an incredible amount of benefit from that. But this is adding another element to better rest. The muscles are healing. Mm -hmm. I'm able to go further than what I've been doing lately. And I'm like, okay, I'm on to something. So it's been working. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad we're able to be a part of that. Um, it, how about as far as just the stress level here at work, um, if you want to call it that? Eh, it's hard hard to call it work when you enjoy what you do, but when you come coming in and just handling all of that and and trying to battle through the stress that that all of the the business brings, it I'm getting the same thing that you have. You know, it's it, there's a more. I keep using the word calm. Mm -hmm. I feel more calm in what I'm privileged to do. I tell people I haven't worked since, you know, 2001. Right. When I started this, right. right? This is a privilege to come in here and do this. But I'm, it's more like I'm, I'm more focused. You know, it's, uh, it's enhanced everything I was already currently doing. You know, and I love doing it on Sundays. I think the first one I did was on a Wednesday night. Okay, yeah. And I, I liked it, but I was in the rush of the week. And everything and i thought you know what i'm going to try this on sunday and totally be immersed in a relaxation and recovery day that's helped do, do you uh do massage or anything you said yoga we we try to floga which is uh we do yoga and then you do a float um so i'd like to bring that back if people would be interested in doing that um i think it, it goes hand in hand i think it'd be an awesome an awesome thing um but it it definitely does give you that calming uh, sensation. Now, have you, you're only at float three. Do you like to go home and sleep afterwards? Are you tired or do, do you like to then get out and do some activity? No. And I, I want to answer your first question too, about the yoga I do, or you said massage, I do mm -hmm. massage and we're actually going to have them on one of these podcasts soon, awesome. but massage and, uh, chiropractic okay. have been phenomenal for me. So I, I kind of ran on with those two questions. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's good, but it, it's relative. And again, that open-mindedness, you know, I, sometimes people think, oh, chiropractic and massage, it's not, well, if you're doing the volume, I guess that I'm doing on a physical level, it's almost required like, like food. It, so that coupled with now this new piece that I've added. And that, that's what I was getting at is, yeah. is you'll get the same benefits as massage, with that said, it's all it's all goes hand in hand. They work side by side with each other. I don't believe one replaces the other. Yeah. Um, and everyone's different in what you're you're looking to get out of it. You know, some people don't want to be touched. Okay, some people do, you know enjoy that a little bit better. You know, a deep tissue massage hurts. It can it hurt. You know, that's what you have to do to get to work. Um, so I, I think a couple. So that's that was kind of what I was wondering um, if you use other um, modalities, if you will, yeah. to assist. So. Yeah. When you're talking about being at racing for recovery, I'm I'm giving by the time this airs, it'll be past anyways. But I'm giving everybody for Christmas a, a float, so I got to talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. This, but yeah, because I want the staff, who I'm so thankful to have around me, to experience the benefits that, that I've gotten from them. Because what that's going to translate into is better service for the people who are coming in here. So yeah, it is, and it's it's another alt uh, alternative for people. You know. Um, even when they go go beyond racing for recovery, um, at any point in time, you know we we have locations throughout the the country, and there's there's many other places to float just besides the true rest. And if you have the experience to float anywhere, I encourage you to do so. Um, but it's education, and you know your the counselors and everybody here 
all the staff, all the people that help you. They are uh, talking with so many people that, that come and go throughout, you know, the, your, your time of, of being here to help people. And they may go to different parts of the country, but it's just education, letting them know what float therapy is, you know, and the potential benefits. And this gives everyone an opportunity to experience that and then potentially help them down the road in, in whatever uh, life path they're in. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Yeah, absolutely. So we have two locations. Uh, we're located in Levis Commons in Perrysburg and then in Toledo on Mineral Street, uh, right, the Target Shopping Center. Um, so it's 5140 Chapel Drive in um, uh, Perrysburg, and then it's 5239 Mineral Street. That's uh, Toledo and Perrysburg. The phone number is five, at Toledo is 567 and then uh, Perrysburg's 419-931-9988. And then you always can check out our social media page um, or go to our website and it'll direct you accordingly uh, to the location at uh, www.truerest.com. Dude, it was awesome having you on. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate it. All Love good. to come back and we'll get you back in for your next float soon. I'll be there Sunday, man. Perfect. Thanks, Todd. Until, uh, until our next episode, thanks for tuning in today. Check out ToddCrandall.com, and we'll see you on another episode of Ignite Euphoria soon. Have an awesome day.